hi everyone uh, welcome back to my youtube channel where i have been uploading different kind of video regarding different kind of flowers and here i am with my new video on my youtube channel so uh, i am raza shakri and here watching me from thakuri's nursery you can see out here there are chrysanthemums blooming up here not up to the mark and these are not up to the mark but still they are blooming nicely and profusely some good uh, quality blooms are yet to be bloomed and they will bloom by the uh, end of October or uh, starting week of November where uh, which you can obviously see in uh, or, uh, obviously see on dazzling flower festival okay so here I am with my new video and uh, uh, this video especially shows you the update I will show you the update of some of my mom's so in this video you can see out here this is my uh, yellow uh, anemone okay uh, the quality of this anemone is that uh, this uh, the side ray flowers uh, have a single line whereas the mid flowers which is known as which is also known as a dix flowers it contains a lot of cushion it will form a cushion like structure and uh, the ultimate bloom is the anemone type so this is the anemone and you can see out here two colors one this one is uh, pink out here and this one is yellow one out here and another one red out uh, red is uh, uh sorry another one white is uh, in my next house okay more blooms to be noted this one is the yellow single uh, one of my favorite but uh, Usually, it gets um, uh, it gets mostly affected by the uh, mites, uh, red spider mites, which usually we don't see until and unless it becomes very uh, uh, it, it spreads all over the plant. Anyway, and the next one is over here. This one is a yellow, uh, smallest, uh, the smallest uh, among the uh, semi pompons. This doesn't make a. This is a semi pompons, which means it makes a half spherical structure. And you can see out here there are two color. Uh, one is pink out here, and another one is uh, red, pure red out here. And another one white was also there, which is uh, which ultimately I lost uh, when I was uh, doing the cuttings. Anyway, so now uh, giving the next update. Here is my new seedling. Uh, new seedling uh, which is a single or a semi double let's not call single because it has two row two ray of uh, i mean two row of ray flowers so let us not call it single it's a very good uh, red color it can you can see out here the color is a very nice one red color with a uh, green middle green middle and the uh, green and yellow dix flower uh, so uh, it's amazing to see this color and usually i had the same quality mom i mean uh, same color and uh, even the green out in the middle is, uh, outer red one same color mom last year also uh, but the problem with that was it was a very tall variety and uh, the pedicel used to go so long you can see out here this one is a small one uh, this is uh, i have made only single bloom from the wall stem but still you can see out here that uh, the pedicel is very you know uh, it's a very short pedicel it has a very short pedicel and uh, if i go out here you can see the quality of the, the number of the mums uh, the number of the flowers which are in the same uh, same branch you know it's quite uh, nice and uh, it's not also so the plant is not uh, so you know uh, weak uh, in one of the last uh, last year varieties of the same color the plant was weak and it was you know tentative whenever the bloom was there it was uh, going against the wind uh, i mean uh, with the wind direction and it used to lens down but here you can see the flowers and the pedicel are quite strong so i can pronounce this as a new variety of pompons let us see how will it do next year uh, in the exhibitions so this is my new variety uh, one new variety another new variety is also there this also shows a promising start because it also has got uh, a good stock strong stock and uh, i can say that if it flowers if it blooms then uh, well i think uh, this will also come single only but if any if uh, it comes single then i can say that this will be this will give a this will make a strong bloom uh, this will make a strong uh, plant you can see out there is a very strong plant say third one and uh, the third one is out here 
this uh, does not look so promising but still it's yet to bloom and i'm giving it some time hopefully it blooms and uh, let's see if a uh, new color variation comes and i can pronounce it as a new uh, variety but we are showing all of this i had planted uh, i had planted four uh, I mean, I have planted four uh, seedlings. Uh, I mean, saved four seedlings. Out of this, I have got four, three new varieties. So this one is new. Another one is this one is also new. Obviously, the bloom is not there, but you can see the difference in the difference in the leaves. So that means that there will be something extra in that. Even if the color is same, that means that the leaves, because of the leaves, it can be pronounced as a new variety. And another one was also there. I don't know where is it. Uh, and the one new variety is also there it's not over here uh, uh, it's not over here but uh, where is it where is it no it's not here so only three varieties is also uh, three varieties is here and uh, the new variety looks very promising thank you so much for watching my video i hope you like my video and if you like my video follow my updates because from next year onwards i will be breeding the from this year onwards i will be breeding the large variety moms also and it's quite good going well and hopefully we can see a beautiful bloom during our festive season thank you so much bye bye and take care